Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a rambunctious couple in love that loves reacting to some Ruby. Yeah, we do. So this is Ruby Volume 7, Episode Number 12. Uh, we have a playlist for all of our reactions for this series, uh, as well as when we checked out the trailers. And we also have early ad-free access on Patreon. So just go ahead and check that out. Link is in the description of this video. Get a month ahead on our reactions. Yeah. I know. I want it in my mouth, too. These little tails I going know. a mile a minute. All right. It's okay, but we got to watch this now. Ready? Good, Good boy, boy, Bucky. Bucky. Ready. Keep dreaming about a better world. You keep wishing for some clarity. Always hoping that a lightning bolt is going to save you from this gravity. You're holding up for so many lives. Maybe you'll wake up in a world of joy. Yeah. This is it. Ruby. Aesop. Head to head. For all the marbles. <laughs> I know. We've got emoji and I'm very happy for you. Hill, I'm sure the general understands the enormity of his. Uh oh. Yep. All wanted fugitives. Clover. Crow, you should know that I've been asked to bring you in. <laughs> a free ride and a show. There's <laughs> also an alert out for Team Ruby's arrest. What? Has James lost his mind? He's trying to stop anybody who might get in the way of this inhumane plan. Looks like he Ooh. underestimated me. Again. Only Crow is under arrest. After everything we've been through tonight, please don't make me arrest you too. Cut it out, both of you. We're almost back to Atlas. Let's talk to James personally. It's taken a very long time for this show to get to the good part. <laughs> up. He's right. Let's get this over with. Robin? Oof. Fine. I wish it hadn't come to this. It doesn't have to. You can hug it out once we've taken him down. <laughs> Romance is over. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, the fact that they didn't see that coming. But I should have waited until they got back to put what him away safely. The general is leaving Mantle to perish? He's saving Remnant. We can't let the relics fall to Salem. But all those people we just protected, they won't survive. We don't mm -hmm. have time to- That doesn't bother you? What about your sister? Our friends? My personal feelings don't matter. We have orders. I'm to retrieve the power of the Winter Maiden so we can access the relic. You're here to ensure my safety. Penny versus Winter. Come on. We've already lost enough time. It's okay. It should matter. Penny, the General is making hard choices so we don't have to. For the good of all, not just a few. I do not see what is good about 
any of this. Hmm. Good for you, Penny. And that we can agree. Hmm. Please, think about what you're doing. You heard the general. Until this is sorted out, you're under arrest. Really? Fight! Please, don't make this difficult. Don't make us have to get out of here by force. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa! We're not actually going to slug this out, are we? We're not doing anything. They decide what happens next. <laughs> decide it. You think you're going to stop us? <laughs> we're the best huntsmen in Atlas. You were. Then you trained us. Yeah. Way to go, Ruby! Come on, Harriet! We're playing right into Salem's hands! You know we need to be working together! Oh, don't give me that crap. I had you kids pegged right from the start. Sure. Ha, ah, yeah! Uh oh. Oof. If you come peacefully, we won't hurt you. Speak for yourself. They betrayed us. You're oh. betraying the people you've sworn to protect. Yeah. It's not worth it, Blake. They're just That's following rich. orders They're now. Hmm. I mean, they kind of did, still. I know you sneeze are used to getting what you want, but it's time to let this one go. No. Ooh. There's your answer. My home. And I'm not giving it up without a fight. Yes. Robin needs help. Surrender, and we can take her to Atlas. Get her patched up. Never pegged you for the manipulative type. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot of things tonight. I enjoyed working with you, you know? Even with that endless cynicism of yours. I'm usually proven right. We don't have to fight, friend. <laughs> you don't know my friends. That's how it always goes. Oh, ouch. What am I, Oz? It's cool. Glad you guys are still mm -hmm. keeping your eye off this guy. Did you just dislocate something? Probably. We're gonna see it. Yep, there we go. Nah, even animation is terrible. Oh, stuff. puts it back in. Ah. He's gonna take him. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't stop on my account. Uh, wasn't planning on it. <laughs> Really, dude? He's more the threat than Tyrion? This is why Aesop's is a freaking moron. Collectively, they're moronic. Me and you have a score to sell. Oh, I agree. So what say we put the kid to bed and then finish it? Hmm. Oh my god, you're so... So irritating. Well, right now, Curl's the one working with Tyrion. Yeah, because Clover's an idiot. He could actually think with two brain cells and realize who the bigger threat is. Marrow, cut the crap, will you? I'm trying to arrest her, not kill her hair. You're being excessive. It's not excessive if it's necessary. <sighs> Oh! 
Damn, Blake's just getting owned. Yeah, she is. Time to wrap this up, fine. They've had their chance. Don't be soft. Are you telling me? Or yourself? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> nice. Brilliant. Oh, face flip. Ow. Never really had a problem with you. One down. All along I thought our friends. Now they know it's possible. All you gotta do is believe. He's like, don't hurt the husky. He really didn't want to fight you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Flame on. Ooh. That looked painful. Yeah. I think she's stuck like that. Mm hmm She's still fighting. Impressive. I think she has anger issues. What do you think? Oh, right into a right nice wall. <laughs> nice, nice. Tap her feet too. We have to stop Ironwood. If he can't access the relic, he can't move Atlas. We just have to get to the Winter Maiden. Blake and I will look for the others. But our scrolls don't. Huh? Yay! The Grim Reaper. This is the part where they ask us to help. Hmm. Oscar must be around here. Oscar? Oscar? Oscar, you're here! No! <laughs> oh, yep, Neo. This crazy girl showed up and attacked me. Good job, Oscar. She looks like someone else. Neapolitan. You know her? We haven't exactly heard good things. <laughs> I hope it will be painless for her. You said your personal feelings do not matter. They won't change my actions. What I'm committed to. The power of the Winter Maiden and the Relic must be kept from our enemies. Even if it means she dies. But yes, Penny. We must still acknowledge our personal feelings. Wrestle with them. It ensures us that we're on the right path. It's... What makes us human? I think... I think I understand. What was that? <sighs> you better hurry. Hmm. Sin. Both of Ironwood's puppets. Lucky me. Cinder, you were responsible for Beacon. For what happened to me. It was, unfortunately, temporary. Now step aside or there won't be anything left to salvage this time. What do you think of that? I think... Hmm. It gives me personal feelings. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. I mean, he's not doing bad holding his own against the enemy. Mm -hmm. 
I thought for sure he was gonna stab him in the back there. So did I. Tarion. No, but see, I think Crow's gonna hate himself because I think Tyrion's gonna end up killing Clover. Why couldn't you just do the right thing instead of the thing you were told? There's that. Sometimes the right decision is the hardest to make. I trust James with my life. I wanted to trust you. <gasps> yep. That's why you don't get into bed with Tyrion. Yes. Doesn't look like your friend's gonna make it. I'll kill you! Oh, you mean... Like you just killed Clover? <laughs> ah, here they come! Right on time. Ah! Oh, looks like our score will have to wait! You got played. You know my track record with the authorities! <laughs> Someone had to take the fall. James will take the fall. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> Why couldn't you have I'm just fought Tyrion instead of Crow? Well, Crow and Tyrion fought him. Because he went for Crow instead of Tyrion. Crow was allied with Tyrion in that fight just out of necessity, because he was getting it from both sides. Clover had gone after Tyrion instead of Crow. They could have taken down Tyrion together and then <sighs> dealt with their issues. No, no one should have teamed up with, with Tyrion. Uh, I can't really like blame Clover for that. I mean, because they're both wrong. Because Clover and Crow were both wrong. They're both so hurt and I don't know, focused on each other, and when they should have been just been both been focused on Tyrion. Like, it's not like Crow was trying to convince Clover to like go after Tyrion. Like they were all just like, they're both kind of just seeing red and um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about Clover seeing red. I mean, he was going after orders and I don't know why he went after Crow. Yeah, I, I don't know. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like they both should have been going after Tyrion. What made Clover a moron in that moment is somehow thinking that the priority was to arrest Crow over maintaining the arrest and restraint of Tyrion. Between yeah. those two, I'm sorry, but it's moronic to think that Crow is the bigger threat. But can you also agree that it's moronic for Crow to have aligned with Tyrion to take down Clover to think that like, oh, okay, we'll both take down Clover and then I'll be able to take down Tyrion. Like he let his own desire for vengeance against Tyrion blind him to what he was capable of. I mean. See, I don't think he was really allied necessarily with Tyrion. They were both going because Tyrion asked. I'm not saying they okay. that wasn't happening. What I'm saying is when both of them were coming after Crow, Crow had to make a decision to survive. And since Clover wasn't going to ally with him and Clover was going to keep coming after him, between the choice of be the person they're both coming after and die or try to take Clover out of the equation, I don't think he ever intended for Clover to die. But of he course was hoping not. Yeah. that Clover would be removed from the equation so that then he could deal one on one with Tyrion. That's yeah. how I understood it. But I just think it's it was stupid to align yourself with Tyrion, like however you want to call it. He fought with beside Tyrion and he fought against uh, to take down Clover. Now to take him out, not to kill him, obviously, but like if you're on the same side as Tyrion or like you're working with Tyrion in any sort of capacity. I think that you're being foolish because, yeah, so that's what I think. 
not disputing that, but I think if Clover wasn't going to work with him, mm-hmm. I don't think Crow had a choice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Clover never really made a argument of like, you know, we should be working together against Tyrion. And, and he didn't even go after Tyrion. Yeah. He had like a one-track mind to go after Crow. Yeah, yeah. And then earlier in the episode with uh, Xena, Warrior Princess, I'll call her, just because like the one with the big hammer uh, on... And she said that, like, oh, you know, you betrayed us. And I said that was rich. But then I remembered, because like at first I was thinking, oh, you guys are the ones that, like, want to arrest them after they had helped you out with so much. I'm like, oh, but then I forgot about the um, Blake and Yang telling Robin about the thing. communications thing. I'm like, yeah, I can see how you, you see that as a betrayal. Um, so I was like, okay, and I, I get that. So. I'm just explaining my thought process now because I couldn't explain it at that time because too much was going on. Fun fight sequence, though. Yeah, very fun. And I love that moment when Ruby's team finally takes down one of Aesop's and like there's that collective moment, yeah. momentary pause of like, ooh, we can do this. Mm-hmm. And like on their side, I was like, oh shit, they can do this. <laughs> yep. And I mean, it was... <clears throat> it totally backed up Ruby's trash talk. Like Aesop's was like, yo, we're the, we're the best in Mantle and her holding like... You were, and then you trained us. Ah, oh, it's just that was really man bringing in the trash talk. I love it, <laughs> and I love that line from Penny. Uh, just so I, it makes me feel yeah. <laughs> gives me personal it feelings. Gives me personal feelings. Yeah, that was great. Oh, uh, but okay. So Cinder has the Fall Maiden's powers. Yes. Is it possible to acquire the powers of two maidens? Well, yeah, I mean, because she originally wanted to acquire uh, the spring maidens and um, Yang's mom has that. I remember like they were going down to that chamber and Cinder was going to, Cinder wanted to acquire like all the maidens powers, um, but then she couldn't because uh, she got bested down there. But so, yeah, I mean, I think she's, she can, so she can definitely have two. Well, I know that she wants to. I just wasn't sure, like, has that ever have? Have you ever had two maidens powers within a single person before? Because it doesn't seem like we have. Not that I know of, but I mean, I think that's her that's her plan. Like, I don't know how she's going to do it, but like, yeah. Well, I mean, all the powers technically were together because I think they were all Oz at first. And then Oz, like, didn't Oz give them his power? Mm. So I guess technically they have been in some in one person at okay. one time. It's been a little while since we touched on the yeah. the history of the lore, so just kind of have to rehash it out and make sure it makes sense in my brain. <laughs> Very tense ending to the episode. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty cinematic shot, the uh, Tyrion stabbing him in the in the back with the crow's sword. Yeah. And Crow's oh. string of bad luck continues. And Clover's good luck comes to an end. Yeah, pretty pretty depressing. Yeah. Well. It's- Kind of par for the course on where things are in Mantle right now. They're not exactly yeah. super happy fun times. No, they're definitely not. Um, super happy fun times ended when after Jacques Schnee got arrested. And that was like the happiest of the fun times. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty good. That was great. So if you want the next episode, I think it's the finale for uh, season seven, then go ahead and check out Patreon because we're a month ahead on our reactions there. Link is in the description of this video. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Ruby's volume seven, episode number 12. But just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.